hello hello welcome to my channel hello hello <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you guys are doing well and before i go into my commentary list let me say i know how you girls like to tussle do not come for me okay because I ain't finna talk about nobody. I ain't finna say nobody's doing the right thing. I'm just finna comment on what has been done and said. Okay? Okay. So, um, I want to briefly speak about um, a video that I saw and a situation that I heard about. Um... It is said that Nicki Minaj is supposed to be uh, suing a YouTuber by the name of Nosy Ho. <sighs> now, the first thing that came to my mind is, why does somebody name themselves Nosy Ho? But, I mean, it is catchy. And for what she does, a celebrity blogger, I guess it was suitable. I mean, I guess. Um, I had never really heard of her until recently. My understanding is that she's been around before and she kind of went away and came back. I know that she's always had her website apparently, but it seems as though she just recently came back to YouTube. That she was maybe here before, left and came back. So my understanding is somehow Garciella... I can't say her last name, is involved in this. Something having to do with setting Nikki up on The Real, I think it's called. Don't uh, beat me up if I'm saying the wrong TV show. Charge it to my head, not my heart. But anyway, um, whatever the case is, somehow she was involved and them two had issues. Well, Mrs. Nosy Ho was being, apparently, a nosy ho and jumped in it. Nikki already didn't like her, apparently, allegedly, because she did something in the past to help a young lady named Jennifer. Her name just popped out of my head. Well, whatever her name is, she helped the young lady, Jennifer. Jennifer is the young lady who has issue with Nikki's husband and also had a case against Nikki's husband. Now... Everybody, unless you are living under a rock or less than, let's say, 18, knows about the issue between Nikki's husband and his legal troubles. Um, I'm not into uh, rap necessarily. I mean, if I hear a song and I like, I will groove to that thing. But I'm not really into um, rap, but I still know about the situation. Um, also, I know about Nikki's brother situation. Child boop. That's all I'm going to say there. But anyway, so, um, Nosy Ho helped, uh, Nikki's husband's, uh, victim, or so it would seem. And so because of that, they threatened her before, they've harassed her before, et cetera, et cetera. Apparently this was a year or two ago. So fast forward. Uh, Mrs. Nosy Ho, H-E-A-U-X, um, jumped back into Nikki's uh, crosshairs by having something to say or do in reference to the Garciella, I think, Bouvier uh, situation. And so because of that, um, she got her um, herself back in the crosshairs of the barbs. So, apparently, they threatened her. They said that they were going to find her. Apparently, she was doxxed by um, someone. I'm not going to say who because I'm not sure. Which means that your personal information was publicized in an effort to cause harm, hurt, or danger to you. So, that was done to her. And then, um, Nikki... Um, Nikki's barbs, not Nikki, but Nikki's barbs apparently uh, started to threaten her, went into her, her inbox, etc., etc., right? So, uh, she retaliated. 
Mrs. Nosy Ho has a YouTube channel. Like I said, they said she uh, recently came back on the uh, platform. And so the barbs went for her. Well, in the interim of them arguing back and forth, um, I guess Nikki sent a DM to Mrs. Nosy Ho. Um, they had a back and forth exchange and Mrs. Nosy Ho said, Nikki, you did not tell the whole truth. You didn't tell about the whole message. So let me put it out, which she did on her platform. So once she did that, again, like I said, her barbs pointed and attacked. Um, so um, there's another uh, YouTuber on this platform. I think her name is Sherelle. Um, Sherelle's World. She uh, is a colleague of Mrs. Ho. And so she wanted to try to have a peace summit on her channel because maybe the platform is larger. She thought the impact would be better. Um, it was put out from that moment that, uh, Mrs. Ho would be, uh, sued, but, um, she wanted to try to create peace. What did they say? Create love, not war. That was her goal. So with that, um, she brought Mrs. Nosy Ho onto her platform. She put the information out. She asked the barbs to call in, which they did. And it was a poop show. Um, the issue was that uh, Mrs. Ho called Nikki's baby a name that I will not repeat because number one, what the baby got to do with it. I didn't understand that. And sh apparently she went after the baby because she said they went after her dog. Really? Yo dog. Now don't get me wrong. Some people's dogs are their babies and that's fine. She said that she doesn't necessarily love kids, but she loves her dog. Got it. That's cool that you love your dog, but, but this is a person, sweetie. This a person. Okay. I, I'm just speechless that she feels she can compare her dog to a child. Okay. Um, I'm just speechless that, that, that she feels that that is a comparison that can be made logically. Now, now, like I said, um, we have a pet, I guess we, my daughter just took over a uh, stray. So I guess it's our pet now. I mean, I don't know, but anyway, um, but it's still not a person. I mean, we don't have to pay for a babysitter. Uh, we don't you know, pay taxes for the animal, et cetera, et cetera. I could go on for days, but whatever the case is, she called herself mad and she was trying to be harmful. Now in the midst of all of this back and forth, Mrs. Ho called Nikki a cokehead and she, but she used a, um, hashtag when she called her that. So her thing was, I'm not the first person who said it. I was just using a hashtag, but maybe Nikki didn't hear about the other time, but she did find out when Miss Ho called her a cokehead. So Nikki, you know, says she's going to sue her. So now everybody just fighting. And like I said, Mrs. Sherelle tried to, um, calm everything down. But when the barbs called in, and I'll be honest, they were, they didn't call in being completely irate at first. They just kept saying, kids are off limits, kids are off limits. And she felt like they weren't. And she said that kids are off limits to them, but not to her. And that she can talk about anybody she want to talk about. And uh, she held strong on that position. So then it just all went left. So, and now we're here. This is what I have to say. I'm not a barb. I'm not a Barty gang. 
they all have songs that I like. They are all very talented, but um, I wouldn't consider myself to be in any fandom. That doesn't mean that I have something negative to say about them. And even if I was angry up at them for doing something, like I think it's horrible what um, Nikki's husband did. I also think it's horrible and deplorable what Nikki's brother did. But that's her husband and her brother. That's not Nikki. So um, I don't have anything negative to say about Nikki, nor do I have anything negative to say about uh you know, the, the child has nothing to do with it. The child is just that, a child. So somebody called and threatened your dog. That is horrible because they said something about they were, they was going to R her dog. Um, I think here on YouTube, when I say R her dog, I think that you guys know what I'm saying. If not, attack, okay? Um, but it's still apples to oranges um it's not the same a dog a person i mean both of them are disgusting but still um she didn't have a reason to say anything negative about the child even if it was true even i'm not saying it is true because i really don't think it is true but even if it was true i don't think that she has a reason to talk about somebody's child how would she feel if she had a sibling that somebody talked about since she's not um, into kids and don't like kids? You know, I mean, it. what if it was her? I don't know. I'm not even going to make the comparison because the fact that she did was crazy. But whatever the case is, it it, it is never okay that you should talk about somebody's child. The child cannot talk. The child cannot comprehend the situation. And the child cannot protect itself so for those reasons the child should be off limits now nikki she's an adult her husband he's an adult i don't even care about the fact that you know uh they're saying well you're mad at nikki but that's her husband blah 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 and then some of the barbs were saying well nikki's mad because she keeps having to defend what her husband's doing or whatever um um, they didn't say those exact words, but something to that nature. None of that matters. The fact is, these two ladies do not like each other. And it's okay to agree to disagree. She can, she, Nikki, can go on by her business because there is nothing that someone by the name of Nosy Ho could really do to her. And Nosy Ho can go on about her business. Now, she did get threatened. Her life apparently was threatened. She can file, you know, something with uh, New York police and go and do whatever she needs to do to protect herself. But the thing is, if you wouldn't have spoke on her kids, she probably wouldn't have even took it there. Now the barbs, okay, maybe she may not be, uh, have the best character because she does kind of incite riot in them from time to time. Maybe that is true. But, I mean, she could just be on one. She could just be not feeling well. Or you could have just talked about her kid. And it's really that simple. I think that even if she does not relate to the situation about talking about somebody's child, she should have enough respect for herself as a professional not to speak on someone who cannot fight for themselves. I mean, it's fair game fighting back and forth with an adult, a person who understood what you said, a person who knows the uh, impact of what you said, and a person who can then take that information and use it to defend themselves or to uh, call you out for being wrong or whatever. Because Nikki has not filed on the young lady as of yet. And honestly, if I was her, I wouldn't waste my doggone money on her. I mean, because I'm just not going to diss her, but she don't look like she, uh, you know, super rich now. I mean, that don't mean she poor either, but... I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, she made you mad, but you know what? Two weeks from now, somebody else is going to be mad at her or mad at you, and or either you'll be mad at somebody, and you still going to be Nicki Minaj. 
she nosy ho. I mean, the fact that she named herself that, yes, it's great for marketing. But, um, yeah, she not Nikki. I mean, if I was Nikki, it would begin and end there. I'm Nicki Minaj. How I look taking myself down to the level of this. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Now, it was different because everybody keeps comparing this situation to Cardi B and Tasha K. Tasha K basically said something about Cardi that was untrue. Provably, measurably untrue. And for that reason, um, Cardi sued her. And it was something dealing with her health. And then she went so far as to say that she had the medical records to prove it. That's a totally different situation. So, totally different. We are all humans at the end of the day. We are people. We are not an animal. And a child is an innocent individual who cannot protect themselves, cannot fight for themselves, cannot even comprehend the complexities of a lot of the arguments being made. What kind of person are you that you would even want to be cruel to a child? And that's the question then that she needs to answer for herself. She may even lose out on financial opportunities because people don't want to deal with a person who would conduct themselves in such manner. Even as a blogger or uh, whatever she calls herself, gossip columnist, whatever. She still needs to have the ability to uh, market her brand, grow her brand, and create collaborations and other financial opportunities to support herself with her brand. And being cruel to a child, calling the child out of, out of uh, its name. Now, she also made a comment that the child might need therapy. I'm not speaking on that, although I will acknowledge that it was said because the reasoning that she gave for saying that the child might need therapy was a plausible situation. But nonetheless, calling a child out of a, a person that cannot fight for themselves out of their name. Yeah, that, that was that was very distasteful as a woman, as a professional, as a human, as a anything. And that's what I have to say about that. I mean, it really, that is, that's really it. I mean, yes, the barbs go uh, far, people say. I mean, it is proven. These things can be uh, proven by the actions. People have receipts, countless receipts to say that. So there's no reason to even speak on that. Did she go too far by talking about Nikki's child? Yeah. It was also brought up, well, um, 50 Cent did it. You're not 50 Cent apples to oranges again because you not on his level. Although he was wrong for saying something negative about Lil' Kim's daughter's eye. And then the thing about it is he does have kids but anybody who speaks on a child on any person who cannot protect themselves is awful. And I'm going to end it there. Have a good night. See you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>